Hi guys, I'm Alon Craft here, and uh, I apologize for having the lack of videos lately. I've been really busy getting started for things for the summer. As you guys know, I started the you know, Alon Craft homesteading type. Like uh, I started like uh, doing that on my channel. So I started doing starting doing some of the things for this. This was uh, an old water tank out of like oh, it's like an RV camper that goes, goes in the back tech, back of a pickup truck, sits in the bed, and uh, go away for the weekend or whatever. That was the water supply tank. There was a pump, a little 12 volt water pump. You come here and look at the water pump. There's a 12 volt water pump right there, and that was like the one that was in it. But this one's off eBay. Awesome I think it was like 17 bucks. It's 35 psi, and uh, it runs out right here. Come on and look at the lines. It runs over into the pump with a hose clamp, up, over, and then out to a, a ball valve, out to a garden hose. And then it keeps going. You follow the line back. There's another ball well. Open that. Comes down. Out here. Come back. It dumps out right here. And then comes back right here to two spray nozzles. Right there. This is for irrigation to spray the ground. Um, I got a deer field I cleared. See, that's over there. A couple, oh, well, I don't know. I think it was 150 feet up over there. And it's maybe 50 feet square, and I'd like to plant that in some clover or something for the deer, so I can spray that with that in the dry months of the summer. I can spray it with the nozzles on that. So that's what that's all for. On the back, my dad's got 100 chickens he gets, and I'm going to have my rabbits. I haven't told you guys, I'm getting rabbits and geese. So that's what that's for, is to fill waters. Water right there, and you dump out. Or if you're working in the garden, you can wash your hands. That's what that's for. Um... I'll just come around here and show you how I wired the pump. I got some I got some wiring loom coming off the pump up here to a two-prong plug. Some dielectric grease in there. Plug it in down here. It's all loomed up along in underneath here. And it came up into the dash. Oh, right off the battery to a fuse. To a fuse. And then a toggle switch, and if you're here, want to hit the switch, the pump comes on. And the switch also for if you're gar midnight gardening, the switch glows, which is on the light up switch. So I'll show you the tank working. So this, I'll close off the tap right here for the hose. And this is open. So we'll hit the switch. And you can watch the sprinklers on the back here. It takes a while for the uh, lines to fill up, but once they're full, and they're not adjusted yet, there's a little adjustment. It's all right there, the wider is smaller. And those are from banggood.com. And in this little box right here, I built one day. Um, had a day off from school, it was a snow day. So I built this little box, it just goes under. It doesn't open up all the way, but it doesn't need to. I got these off eBay. I'm gonna put on the hose and spray all kinds of stuff. I got two of those. I got an old fashioned sprayer, like for a garden hose. It's just another backup nozzle, really, nothing really to go wrong with it. Some spare, spare O-rings to go inside the, and if you lose that, those came with those. I was really happy to see that. Adjustable wrench in there. Some spare fuses for the, the dash mount fuse holder. A hose clamp to go in the hose. This is a cut down hose off a of garden hose my dad gave me and I put the new ends in it. So I uh, made a shorter garden hose. So put this stuff back in here. Now, I do believe that pump has more PSI than your regular outlet on the side of your house. So it doesn't spray that much further, but it's pretty nice to have mobile water. You can spray with a hose, like, anywhere you want. You can go to your garden, water your plants, fill waters, fill water watering cans. It's just nice to have that water anyway. Switch on. Oops, open this. Close that. Open this. There's, yeah, there's centers, fans, cone, shower, that'd be good for like plants, angle, I don't know what you use that for, flat, flood, that's when all of them open up, that to me is a really useless setting, it's when all of them are open, there's a nip, and you hear the pump, it doesn't take a lot of pressure, so it's like that, it doesn't take a lot of pressure, it's back to jet, so. You can see it kind of flares out to the side a little bit, and you can see the main screen. There's way over to that water table over there, it's pretty near hitting over there. So I'm really happy with that. 
And I didn't know how we was going to mount the tank, so I just put an eyelet right here, and an eyelet right here, and put a ratchet strap over here. And I got a couple uh, extra ratchet straps, so I just trimmed the ratchet strap so there's no excess, excess strap flopping around. And on the last thing, I do believe, is the fill, if you come around to the front, was, I think this was a drain out cap for inch and a quarter pipe, for piping like in your basement. So I just glued that in there with some, uh, it's called pipe cement, fast dry pipe cement, and I just put it in. I just put it in by hand, so I was going to get my dad, my dad works at a machine shop, so he's going to get to cut me out a wrench in the water jet with that size nut and a little piece of chain just screwed on here so I could break it loose. But I just put it on by hand, and there's an O-ring there, and I've never seen it vibrate off. And I think about the last thing would be was this tank was frozen to the ground. I'd have taken it out of the camper trailer thing and had it sitting on the ground. And this spring when I went out to go start this, I had cracked it here and here. And I just took a blowtorch and a screwdriver and melted the plastic and put it over the crack and patched it and taped it off and painted that black. And that was both it for that repair. It doesn't really leak. There's a little bit of a crack left right there, but... I probably will patch it, but it doesn't really need to be patched. Read along there, yeah, a little hairline crack, it's about an inch and a half long. But, uh, yeah guys, I'm also, this will be uploaded to Outlaw on Crafts, but I'm, I'm thinking about starting a specific homesteading channel, because I may as well just explain this now. I started in, in my house right here behind me, I'll make a video on 125 plants, peppers, zucchinis, eggplants, cucumbers, all kinds of different sorts of things, and... Some of them I started uh, a little bit early. There was a couple things with the zucchinis. They might need to be replanted because they're getting a little bit big. But my peppers and tomatoes and stuff, I started them right on when I was supposed to. But I got all kinds of seeds, so it'll be fine. And I also got, as you see in my driveway, I built a rabbit pen. It's 4x10, four, 4 feet of its uh, outdoor pen, and 6 feet of its indoor pen. But that'll be a whole other video. I got a goose pen out there. And my deer field, that's all on another video. But I was just going to explain my water tank. Because I'm kind of getting ahead of myself with all these projects, and I'm not explaining them all, I'm making videos about them. So I'm thinking about starting a specific homesteading channel, but I don't know yet. But I gotta get, like, explain what I've started here on this channel first before I take a start in another channel. So make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.